A woman who wants to have sex with you will always ask you the following two things. Welcome back, viewers. Today we delve into the intriguing world of romance and relationships. You know, it's said that when it comes to matters of the heart, there are countless secrets and hidden desires. But what if I told you that there are actually two key questions that a woman who wants to have sex with you will always ask? Yes, you heard it right, my friends. We're about to explore the tantalizing secrets that lie behind these questions and unravel the mysteries of attraction. As the famous proverb goes, women hold the key to pleasure, but only the worthy can unlock the door. In our quest to understand the intricacies of human connection, we must navigate the delicate dance between desire and consent. It is within this intricate tango that these two questions become so crucial serving as a bridge connecting the physical and emotional realms. We begin our journey with the first question. Do you desire me? This query, so elegantly simple yet infinitely profound, serves to unveil the underlying passion that ignites the flames of intimacy. It is a plea for affirmation, a vulnerable moment where a woman subtly hints at her yearning for connection. With each twitch of an eyebrow or tremor of a lip, she bears her soul before you, hoping to ignite a spark that transcends mere words. But before we lose ourselves in the allure of desire, we must approach the second question, equally pivotal. Will you respect me? Relationships are fragile constructs built upon trust and mutual understanding. In her inquiry lies a profound quest for emotional safety, reminding us of the importance of consent and the respect that must lie at the heart of our interactions. As the saying goes, a woman's heart is like a precious gem. Only in the hands of a gentle master can it truly shine. Now, my friends, as we uncover the hidden meanings behind these two questions, let us not forget that communication is a dance of reciprocity. While a woman may ask these questions, it is equally important for us as men to answer them honestly and with integrity. Remember the ancient wisdom that states, for the bond between a man and a woman to flourish, both must navigate the path of truth with unwavering honesty. As our journey nears its end, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you, my dedicated viewers. It is your support and engagement that fuels our shared exploration of life's mysteries. If you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. I encourage all of you to share your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Together, let's continue to unravel the enigmatic tapestry of human connection, one question at a time. Thank you for joining me today, my inquisitive friends. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, true connection begins with understanding. Certain mysteries of the universe will never be completely unraveled and understanding women, what they want, how they express their desires might just be the most complex of them all. However, our focus won't be that wide and sweeping. Instead, we will be reducing it down to a microcosmic element, the signs a woman will give when she wants to be intimate with you. First things first, it is paramount to debunk a deeply ingrained fallacy. Not all women express their sexual desires in the same way or through the same cues. Always remember George Bernard Shaw's insightful observation do not seek to follow in the footsteps of the wise. Seek what they sought. So what are these questions, these indicative signs, these irresistible green lights that almost every woman will illuminate when she's comfortable being intimate with you? The first sign is when she begins to casually ask questions about your past relationships. This might seem like an area where you should tread lightly, but when a woman asks about your past relationships, it's not always a landmine. Often, it's a way for her to gauge your attitudes towards relationships and sex. Remember, the key is to keep your answer honest but brief. As Mark Twain said, a lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is still putting on its shoes. Don't paint yourself as something you're not, nor paint your exes as villains for no reason. Your honesty in this conversation will help build an emotional bond that can only serve you. The second significant question a woman might ask you when she's interested in intimacy is about your plans for the future. This shows she is interested in playing a part in it, whether short-term or long-term, even at the most intimate level. Mixed within these future-leaning conversations could be indications about her sexual preferences as she subtly probes to check if you're on the same wavelength. Remember, this is also a conversation to be navigated with honesty. The truth may hurt for a little while, 
but a lie hurts forever, the old saying goes. Now here's the most important reminder of all. Women and men alike have every right to change their mind about wanting to be intimate. As William Shakespeare wrote, this above all, to thine own self be true. So while these signs may often be indicators of a woman's interest in intimacy, never forget that explicit enthusiastic consent at every stage is crucial. No questions, no proverbs or insightful quotes can guarantee anything. You must communicate openly, honestly, and frequently. Furthermore, as functions and expressions of sexuality are deeply personal and often colored by cultural, societal, and individual expectations and values, it's beneficial for all of us to set aside our assumptions and stereotypes. We must approach each situation with an open mind, willing to understand and acknowledge the other person's unique perspective and feelings. Take to heart what Maya Angelou recommended. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Remember to make the woman in your life feel respected, valued, safe, and loved in all the myriad ways she chooses to express her desires. There are no foolproof ways to attract a woman, and certainly no guarantee that she will want to be intimate with you. Always remember David Ogilvy's wise words, don't bunt, aim out of the ballpark. Throw out those worn out thesaurus of cliched pickup lines. Instead, approach her with genuine respect and attention. Listen to her, make her feel safe and accepted, and chances are that you'll reap the warmth of affection, emotional intimacy, and maybe even the physical intimacy you seek. After all, as Mother Teresa very wisely stated, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Thank you all for watching, and we hope that this video has brought some insights and a better understanding of the subtle art of discerning a woman's intentions. If you found this information helpful, hit the subscribe button to never miss another enlightening session from us. We'd love to hear from you. Feel free to drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Let's build an active community that promotes healthy discussion and mutual respect. Feel free to share this video with those who might find it beneficial. Until next time, keep paying attention to the cues around you, and remember that the most attractive trait is kindness. Conclusion In the realm of human relationships, few topics ignite as much curiosity and intrigue as the dynamics between men and women. From centuries of art, literature, and philosophy, we have attempted to decipher the multitude of languages spoken only in the realm of romance. Though the complexities of love cannot be simplified, there are certain patterns and indications that may help guide us along this enigmatic path. In the pursuit of intimacy, it is said that a woman who desires to connect with you on a deeper level will always pose two fundamental questions. And while these inquiries may appear ordinary on the surface, their significance reveals a great deal about her intentions and the authenticity of her emotions. The first question a woman who truly wants to have sex with you will pose is, are you listening? This seemingly simple query, when asked in matters of the heart, goes far beyond the casual act of hearing someone speak. It is a plea for emotional presence, for a genuine connection that surpasses mere physicality. By asking if you are truly listening, a woman seeks reassurance that you value her thoughts, ideas, and feelings. It is an invitation to delve into the depths of her being and engage in profound dialogue, more meaningful than any physical interaction could ever be. Proverbs and quotes about women and life resonate with the universality of this pursuit. Lao Tzu once said, Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. These words remind us that true connection is not solely about gratification or conquest, but about finding solace, empowerment, and courage in the embrace of another. By genuinely listening to a woman's words, we show her that she is seen, heard, and worthy of our attention. It is through this act of listening that we unlock the door to a deeper understanding, a shared vulnerability, and an intimacy that extends far beyond the realm of physicality. The second question a woman who genuinely desires sexual intimacy will ask is, do you see me? This question transcends the surface level perception of physical appearance and delves into the realm of comprehension. It implores us to witness the essence of her being, to acknowledge her complexities, and to recognize her worth beyond the mere physical attributes. 
By asking if you truly see her, a woman seeks assurance that you appreciate the qualities that set her apart from the rest of the world. It is a plea for recognition not only of her physical beauty, but of her intellect, her passions and her dreams, the things that comprise the core of her being. Proverbs and quotes about women in life remind us of the profound importance of this question. As philosopher Nietzsche once stated, when you look long into an abyss, the abyss looks back into you. This powerful proverb serves as an analogy for the depth at which we must see a woman to truly understand and appreciate her. Just as gazing into an abyss forces us to confront our own fears and insecurities, truly seeing a woman involves an introspective journey into our own vulnerabilities and prejudices. Through this understanding, we can foster a connection that goes far beyond the surface level and brings about a true meeting of souls. As we conclude this exploration of the two fundamental questions, a woman who desires sexual intimacy asks, it is vital to approach them with the sincerity and respect they deserve. These questions act as a litmus test, filtering out those who seek only transient pleasure from those who yearn for something deeper. By truly listening and genuinely seeing a woman, we not only honor her desires, but also cultivate an environment of trust and mutual understanding. As we embark on the journey of love and intimacy, let us remember that it is the connection we forge, the emotional bonds we create, and the understanding we cultivate that hold the power to transcend the boundaries of the physical realm. In closing, it is with immense gratitude that we thank you, our viewers, for joining us on this exploration. We hope that the thoughts shared in this video have sparked introspection, ignited discussions, and shed light on the inherent beauty and complexity of female desire. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our future content. And most importantly, we invite you to share your thoughts and engage in the dialogue surrounding this topic. Love is a journey best experienced together, and it is through open communication and shared wisdom that we can navigate the intricate paths of human connection.